Thanks. How, how is the team? What's the team news? Um, team news. Um, some players, they, you have doubts from tomorrow. You have more, some hours to, to decide and to, to keep checking them and recovery, as you know. Um, when the, um, the game is, the game finish later and uh, we have a big, a good journey to come back to, to London. Of course, the last two sessions, we, we check the player, we recover them as well. Um, and now it's um, up to us to decide. Um, doubt about Harrison Reed. Um, nothing really serious, doesn't look, uh, look serious. As normal, a player that didn't play, uh, didn't have the, the press season, him and Shalob as well, but yeah, he got a small pain and small issue in, the, in his leg. But does it look serious? Let's see if tomorrow we'll decide for him to be or not with the, with the team and uh, all the others. Not not big difference than the last the last game. Fabio is still out. Tom Carney will still out uh, as well. Uh, Josh will be available. Was was not to the to the last game uh, as well and will be available. Sorry, just to clarify, were you saying that Nathaniel Chalabar's a doubt, or was no, that Harrison no, no, Reed? No, no, no. I just compare bold because uh, we play with uh, we in the starting eleven with uh, with bold, and uh, of course, um, two players that they didn't have pre season, they didn't play pre season games as well, and uh, you know, some sometimes this can this type of things can happen in an intense game like we had last uh, last Wednesday. Um, two players playing that conditions can happen. What what? Uh, Everson we uh, felt, but nothing, nothing serious. But Chalobah will be, will be, will be ready. That's great because I, I was going to ask you about Nathaniel Chalobah because um, he's been singled out for praise for his performance uh, against Birmingham. How pleasing is it for you to bring in a player and um, for him to slot in so easily? It seems into a team. Um, as you as you know, he's a player that uh, I. I had a voice and I, I signed him in Watford when I when I signed with Watford was one of the first signers that we we did him um, with Richardson I think in that in that period um, player that uh, under ourselves there did had two three months really really good before the bad injury he, he got um, player that I know really well player with uh, with more. More age now, more experienced player as well. Unfortunately, he had the bad injury. Um, player with a good character and personality as well. In terms of football, I am, I was one hundred percent sure what he can add for our for our squad. In terms of uh, professional and um, as a as a as a as a bo as a guy as well, really good guy in the dressing room as well. Ambition guy as well. Everything what we we want to. To add in our squad, and now is a matter for him to compete with his teammates. Um, nothing easy in his football club to and to win a space in the in the starting eleven. Well, we have to be always uh, in a good shape and try to to do his best every single day. Um, as you know, is a is an area of the pitch that you unfortunately for us we we have been many many injuries as well, some players out, uh, but uh, all the players they are coming in there. Giving a very good uh, response from to me as well, and Shalaba was was this case. I know that uh, just uh, it's just his first appearance in uh, in our our football club, but he he did well. Like expect to be to be honest, I'm 100 sure that his physical condition will improve and he'll get him better every every single game that he can play because he needs that. After the six seven team minutes, it's, it was easy for me to understand that he. In physical point of view, he struggled a little bit with more games and more minutes in his legs. He will improve and will be best physical conditions for sure. And after he has quality, and uh, when you have quality in, to work, um, for me as a manager is always important. Of course, answer direct to you. Um, I'm pleased with the, the, his performance in general, the performance of, of our team, and with his performance as well. Seven games played, top of the table, plus 12 goal difference. How happy are you with your team? I guess you've, you've just said you're pretty pleased. Yes, I'm, I'm pleased to, to see how we are growing as a, as a team, how we are growing and how we're performing, how we, we are matching all the our opponents as well, away or at home for us doesn't, doesn't make 
that doesn't exist big difference to be to be honest we go always to to match the our opponents to play and to win a football matches is what we, what we want we knew before the match that you come from a bad bad result not good enough performance as well and we we must uh, do everything in a different way again and um, we bounced back uh, um, with a very good score and with a solid um, performance um tough game to play against but we 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 response in a in a very good way it was a great response from ourselves um the position the table is always good to be there but it's not the main thing in this moment it will be important the first position of the table will be important in the last last few games not for the moment it's always important to get points uh to score goals to 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 try to have clean sheet and 44 as we consider that late goal because if not we will be can be almost a perfect night for us and again pleased to see but nothing more we want just more three points um done that game position the table is good it's just a consequence from the results but it's not the main thing this moment to look for the table and the main thing now is for us is to prepare ourselves for the the next open it will be a, will be one more tough game can you give us an insight into how different the team is now to the team that you found when you joined the club. What was your priority in terms of the changes that you wanted to make, um, what you wanted to implement at, at the club? Ooh. We have to, to be uh, long minutes to talk about everything and it's not uh, a moment to, to talk about all the situation. Of course, um, the team has to be different now than two months and a half ago, definitely, because if you are working here, and we have to see some improvements in our in our in our game. In a new idea, new technical staff, some new players as well. Of course, we try to. We are working to implement the ideas we want for our for our club. In this moment is not just the Marco Silva's idea; it's a Fulham Football Club idea, and the, the players they it's clear to them what uh, what is our idea. They they bought that idea, if I can say that, and. Uh, they are there. They are there. We working every single day to knowing what we should do in each moment of the game. Of course, two months in half is um, less time to prepare everything. What we want is will be a process, of course. But uh, uh, we are better team now than the, in the beginning of the season for sure, definitely, because we are playing games. You are getting results and some boost of confidence for them because they need it uh, after a tough season. Um, the season, the season before, and it it was really important. Uh, what we are implementing here, what is our idea? I think is is clear for everyone what we are doing. Um, first thing, um, it's big commitment, big ambition in all all the football matches. To big desire to win and to get points for us. In the meantime, um, if you can perform well, will be always important. Is what we want. Is the way we train every single day to. Um, to have a, a style of play that uh, suits well in our football club, in the, the, the idea that I want to to build and create. And, and, uh, but the main thing in football is always to get results. Um, everything has, has to have the support from the results and you are getting results and help always to, to create and to build something um, because it gives the confidence the players they need. I know it's very early days, but um, unbeaten at home, one goal conceded at home. How important is it for, for Fulham, for any club, to, to be strong at home? Yeah, it's really, really important. You, since the first day when we prepared and we had the, the pre-match conference against Borough, against Middlesbrough, I, I, I said to you that it's really important for us to feel really at home at Craven Cottage. Um, we have to put the everything more difficult for our opponents when you are playing home uh, with the support of our fans. And I, I said in the other time, I'm repeating every single week. I will repeat again that uh, their support will be a key and will be a um, big part of uh, what will happen in in our season in in, in the end. Okay, that we we need to feel from the first until the last minute at home. They are there. In the good moments that we'll have, some not so good moments. The the our fans they play they play a key part in our in the in all the results that you can achieve at home away as well, but uh, more at home. And uh, 
we all together we have to to create atmosphere um as in one, uh, inside the pitch our fans uh, outside the pitch uh, created the, the right atmosphere to put everything more difficult for our opponents um because you want to be really strong at home like you you want to be away as well but you have to be to feel comfortable playing at home you have to feel comfortable in the way we want to dominate the games as well but in the meantime you are playing against tough tough teams and the, the opponent teams that they want to come here to get points as well and we i'm sure we all of us together with our fans from the start until the last minute supporting us will be really strong well, Reading, in contrast, um, have struggled at the start of this season. They haven't picked up a point yet away from home. I know that they've uh, picked up a win ahead of this match, but what are you expecting from them? Big respect to, to Reading, first of all. Um, tough game for sure. For us, the numbers means nothing, what they achieve or not. And the, the good example we I can put on the table now is what's happened last away game against Blackpool. Um, before this Birmingham game. Um, the results were not so good to them. They didn't uh, get points uh, at home, all these situations. And after uh, the results showed a completely different thing. For us, it means nothing what is their results away or not. I can tell you that uh, a team that can sh show the capacity to score six goals in the last two games, and OK, well, we're home games as, uh, in that situation, but they scored six goals in the last two games means that is a team that they know what they are doing. They have the capacity to create chances. They have the capacity to score six goals in, in two football matches. Uh, means they have the quality to create problems to their opponents. And uh, for sure, they have the quality to create problems for us as well. It's up to us to um, to be compact, to, to start the game. And to if you want to be dominant uh, during the game, you have to, to be patient to, uh, with the ball. But in the meantime, to circulate fast the ball and to... To play quick when you should do it with what the ball we have to be um, um, to have strong pressure in our opponent tati in a tactical point of view we have to be um, in a good shape to be perfect or almost perfect in that situations to don't leave them to create the spaces that uh, they want and to explore the spaces during the, the game and after the ball we have to enjoy what we are doing but enjoy it uh, playing forward and try to create uh, the, the chances to score uh, as more as I can.